Hello, everybody. I'm Kenneth Copeland, and this is Wednesday's edition of the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast. <clears throat> Excuse me. Honor, respect. There is a code of honor. Those core values <coughs> of all the things that I own, I respect this book more highly than anything I have. So does Gloria. <coughs> now we highly esteem and respect one another. <coughs> but that's because we love one another and we honor this book and we've walked in it for 56 years. So, but we had to learn. Honor, there is an honor guard. Mm -hmm. There is honor at the tomb of the unknown soldier. Yes, sir. Oh, I'll tell you, I said, she'll run all over me. In the military, you honor a higher rank. Even if you don't like the person. Oh, that doesn't have anything to do with it. It's the position. That's military code of justice. Yes, sir, it's the position. You will do this. Well, I enjoyed it. I wanted to make my salute as sassy as I could. I wanted that guy to think, boy, mm. I, he honored me. The Medal of Honor far above the call of duty. And if a private has that blue ribbon around his neck, every general it has to salute him. That's right. That's right. The medal of honor. What about biblical honor? When uh, my, my dad taught me honor. Yeah. And he'd, he'd say, son, <clears throat> you don't, you don't, you don't act like that now. You honor your elders, yes, sir. And you esteem them. And uh, I've, and now i It came to that place where my dad walked in the room. I stood up, yes, sir. I'd stand up and uh, honor him right up to the end. And his, I honored his life. He taught me to tithe. He was, he so honored God's word that he had a tithing account and his account. He had the, the of course, the business account, which was uh, the, the company. Because he was a general agent for National Line Insurance. Hmm. But his personal account. I mean, and I was just tall enough to look over there at what he was doing and he would make out his deposit and he would have this checkbook over here, that was his tithe account, and his tithe account checkbook and then his personal checkbook and then he had two different accounts in that bank and he would not allow one to get into the other. And uh, anyway, the honor of God. Now, in the second chapter of First Peter, right? You don't just go to His own self, bear our sins in His own body on the tree, that we should be dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. You don't start there. There's 23 verses up <laughs> above it. <laughs> and this whole, this, this 24th verse is conditional on the other 23. Yes. And of course I want, uh, and this one is the, the key to it in the 13th. Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king is supreme, or unto governors as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers, for the praise of them that do well. 
For so is the will of God that with well-doing you may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men as free and not using your liberty as a cloak of maliciousness, but as servants of God. Honor all men or everybody. They're alive whether you like them or not. And do your best to smile, bring something good to their life that day and then witness about Jesus. And uh, just recently, I went into a store and there uh, three women were standing there. And uh, I just walked in there and smiled. And I said, aren't you glad it's a good day? They smile. I said, it's one day closer to the resurrection. Yes. And I just kept talking and kept talking and finally wound up over talking to this woman. And she said, well, and her name is Peggy. And she said, well, I'm Catholic, but my daughter is going to Baylor. Well, I bragged on Baylor and talked about Hardin Simmons and and um, University Mm -hmm. Baptist Church in Abilene and so forth. She said, but you know, I guess I'm gonna have to get me a Bible. I said, let me help you with this. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Amen. I mean, I just, it just one thing led to another because of honor. That's right. Honored everybody there, smile, and just start talking about Jesus. Well, the more, and she just began to stand there and other people were walking by her. She going to stand there talking to me. So I kept buying some things so we'd have things in, mm-hmm. in the party. <laughs> anyway. Who wrote that? Peter wrote that. Yes. Peter knew what it was like to dishonor yes, he Jesus. Because he did. He swore, I'll love you, I'll always love you, I'll never... And, and he did it. He dishonored him. Did exactly what Judas did, ex- minus killing himself. Jesus comes and finds him after the resurrection on the seashore. Well, yeah, Peter was out in the boat, and Jesus was on the shore cooking fish, and he asked him three questions. He denied him three times, and three times he asked him, Peter, do you love me? And because Peter said, I'll always love you. He's boasting of his love for Jesus. And he, what did he say? Feed my sheep, feed my sheep, feed my lambs. That's exactly what you were doing. Mm-hmm. That's the best way we can honor him. Yes, it is. Is to, is to love people. That's a very Hebraic <clears throat> mindset. It's a very Jewish mindset that you honor everyone because they have, they were created in God's image. That's right. That's right. They're, they're a human being. They have blood, red blood in them. Yes. And so therefore they're, they're, they're human in that regard. I, I wrote this down one night, in the middle of the night. I can't heard this, I can't change your life until you change who you honor and trust. Oh, that's, yeah. Uh, Because, you know, you want God to change you, mold me, make me like you. I want to be pleasing to you, you know. I can't change your life until I change who you trust, who you honor. This is exactly what Peter did right there. Mm -hmm. He, God, Jesus changed who he trusted in. If your trust is in the federal government of the United States, you're going to be sorely disappointed. I don't trust the government. I honor the government. Yes, I do. I honor the president of the United States because he's the president of the United States. And you get everybody right now screaming, well, he's not my president. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Now, here's the other thing. There's a covenant that the very first president made with this nation, with God. So I honor this nation and I honor that covenant. If I go away from that covenant, I'm dishonoring God where my nation is concerned. Covenant is a part of everything in our life. Um, You're reading that for First Peter in in Hebrews chapter five, speaking of Jesus, and no man taketh this honor to himself, but he that is called of God as was Aaron. Jesus Christ is that high priest for me now that I'm called to honor. And the best way I can honor that is to live my life according to his righteousness. Now, the Apostle Paul is writing to his spiritual son, who is a pastor that's hanging over his head. 
Yeah, amen. Yeah. He had a, an honor and a problem that no one else will ever have. <laughs> amen. <laughs> Here is this young man. And on the front row is the Apostle John and Mary, the mother of Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I sort of know what that feels like. <laughs> I've had to preach before and look down on the front row and there's Kenneth Copeland. <laughs> well, right yeah, there. but I don't, I don't even come close well, to that. But listen to what he said to Timothy in the, the first chapter, 14th verse. The grace of our Lord Jesus was exceeding abundant with faith and love, which is in Christ Jesus. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Howbeit for this cause I obtained mercy that in the first that in me first Jesus Christ might show forth all long suffering for a pattern of them that should hereafter believe on him to life everlasting. Now unto the king, eternal, immortal, invisible, the only mm. wise God be honor. Yep. Under the king, mm -hmm. the king. Mm -hmm. And glory forever and ever, amen. This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which were on thee that thou by them might war a good warfare, holding faith and a good conscience, which some having put away concerning faith have made shipwreck. Skip that 20th verse. No, I have to read it. Of whom Hanumaeus and Alexander, whom I delivered unto Satan, that they may learn not to blaspheme. I exhort therefore that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and givings of thanks be made for all men, for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come under the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men the man, Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. All men, kings, all of them. Mm -hmm. Why? So they can be saved. Yes. But if I'm always dishonoring them with my mouth, I've taken myself out of the equation of being a person that can be, get them saved. If you constantly were dishonored, and you don't, if you, if you constantly dishonored Joe Biden, and then we're brought into Joe Biden's presence. Your mouth and your attitude has kept you from being able to be the one who could lead him to the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's why it's a dangerous thing. You have to honor in all of this because this goes back again, and I know I harp on it all the time, covenant. Yes. There's a covenant with this nation. There's a covenant with my God. God honored Jesus back there in Hebrews chapter five when he gave him a name and when he when he said, this is my son who exalted. So in that covenant, if God honored Jesus, I have to honor Jesus. I have to honor his word. Um, people are only willing to change, I have found, when the system they believe in no longer produces for them. Then they're willing to change. Mm -hmm. but this system always works. Another thing you'll always see connected to honor, which goes to your covenant, is riches and honor. It seems like they always go together. Yes, they do. We have people praying for financial miracles all the time. I need a financial miracle. And I, I get that. But a miracle is a one-time thing. Mm -hmm. What you need is financial wisdom. You need to honor. That's the principal thing. That's the principal thing. So if I, if I honor the covenant, if I honor the one who made the covenant. Now, I heard Mac Hammond this morning. Yes, sir. And he went over to the book of Proverbs. Wisdom is the principal thing. Not love. Not faith. But wisdom. God's wisdom is the ability to use knowledge. 
a young man came to me, Greg, that four years at ORU. Mm -hmm. He said, I'd, I'd like to have lunch with you. <clears throat> so we sat down to lunch and he began to tear up and he said, uh, uh, I don't know what to do. He said, here are you. He said, the, the, the Lord called you out after one semester, I went the whole four years and I still don't know what to do. Well, in questioning, you have to go back to why he went to Oral Roberts University in the there first place and come to find out he's in what I call the pipeline. I mean, you go to a, you go to a full gospel Mm -hmm. church and you go to high school and of course you're going where are you going to go to school well Oral Roberts University where else is there for us to go why well to get an education for what I don't know mm -hmm. no heavenly vision mm -hmm. he honored the school honored the man I honored him above all men, particularly after my dad went, went home. I honored him because the Lord put me with him. That's right. That's right. You didn't I do didn't that. choose. You that. didn't do it. I didn't want to do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. But that was my that was god's heavenly vision for me and i began to learn from him so i honored him that's right and i went to him when his when uh, ronnie passed away and i said sir sir mm -hmm. I can never replace Ronnie Roberts, but I will be a son to you the best way I can in any way that I can. Whatever I can do to serve you, mm -hmm. I will. I felt that way about Kenneth Hagin because he was my mentor and teacher but I didn't have the opportunity to do that with him. <laughs> he, he, he didn't need my service. Right. But Brother Roberts did. Mm -hmm. So it depends on where you place your honor. That's right. And God brings people into your life. It's a long term, but sometimes they're just seasons. And then there's the next season and the next season. And this, read, read the God that Covenant the Contradiction, the dedication page. You'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's all there. It's all, it's all in there. If I was going through the grocery store the, not too long back and uh, I saw this little girl down there stocking groceries and a uh, bag of Cheetos were sitting right here. It was in the wrong place. And I picked the bag of Cheetos and I took it and put it where it was supposed to be. Somebody had decided they didn't want it. And she looked up at me in, in her voice and she said, thank you. And it didn't dawn on me that I honored her mm -hmm. by putting something back. So she didn't have to so do it. So she didn't have to do it. I'll tell you who you were talking about a moment ago. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. This is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise that it may be well with thee that you may live long on the earth. Yes. Yes. And fathers provoke not your children mm -hmm. or honor them. Yes, sir. And we're out of time. No. Where does it go? Just <laughs> <laughs> one minute at a time. Yes, sir. <laughs> we'll be back in just a moment. I have so much to do and so much going on. 
Without you, I don't know how to get it all done. And I know what your word says, but I just feel so overwhelmed with so many things. Lord, what do I do to overcome these obstacles? I need an answer. Holy Spirit, show me. This is your covenant guaranteeing peace, healing, provision, spirit, soul, body, financial, and every area of life. Stop accepting a single contradiction to a blood ratified covenant. I am loved by God. I am anointed. I am called. I do have the might of Christ. I am made in his image. I am healed and I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Order God the Covenant and the Contradiction book by Kenneth Copeland and Greg Stevens for only 19 pounds and 50 pence. Outside the UK, call for postage. Go to kcm.org.uk forward slash TV special or call 01 225 787 310. Father, we thank you this morning and we give you praise. And we thank you that this building once more for one whole week will be a sanctuary for people from all over the world. And we thank you today that this building is full of the Holy Ghost and power from on high. And we praise you and we honor you today. And we pray these things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. You have a free resource to help you study and apply the Bible-based truths you just heard. Download the BVOV broadcast study notes today at kcm.org.uk slash notes. Collect the notes from each week and use them in a group Bible study. Use the message outline to teach from. Discuss the scriptures and key points with your family of believers. Gain understanding from all the teachings on the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast. Get the whole week of notes today at kcm.org.uk slash notes. Hello, I'm Larry Warren, and I'm here to tell you that God loves you. Even before you were born, God had a plan for your life that is filled with his peace, abundance, health, and joy. He sent Jesus to free you from the kingdom of darkness and bring you into the safety of his kingdom of love and light. Jesus has paid the price that sin demanded of you. He made a way for you to rightfully stand in God's presence without a sense of guilt or shame. God is still inviting you to come into his family. To accept his invitation, all you have to do is pray this prayer with me. Lord, I confess my sins before you. I turn my life over completely. Take over and be the Lord of my life. I receive you as my savior. I receive your Holy Spirit. I receive my heavenly prayer language. I receive all that you have for me. Your will be done. Thank you, Father. I am now born again. Amen. Hallelujah. You have just been born into God's family. You are a citizen of heaven with a new identity and a new life before you. Now, If you would like to discover the covenant benefits that belong to you as a child of God, KCM has a gift they would like to send to you for free. It's called our salvation package. There's a small book called He Did It All For You by Kenneth and Gloria Copeland. And there's also two brochures to help you make God's word a part of your daily life. Spend time in God's presence every day by reading his word and speaking with him in prayer. God is a good father and he wants to spend time with you. He wants to show you who you are as his child and how to enjoy your new life in his family. To request your salvation package, go to kcm.org and we'll send it to you for free. Now, if you'd like to have someone pray with you over any situation in your life, please don't hesitate. Call our prayer line. KCM has licensed prayer ministers on staff who are trained to pray in agreement with God's word. They will help you find scriptures to keep your faith strong, and they will pray in faith with you. Call our prayer ministers today and receive the victory God has won for you. Honor is not by feeling. Honor is a respect and we honor those 
that the Word says to own. Starting with God, Jesus, and right down the line. Yeah. And we do that because these blood promises say so. Knowing that whatsoever good thing any man does, the same shall he receive of the Lord. Glory to God. So, we'll see you tomorrow. Until then, this is Kenneth Copeland, Professor Greg Stevens, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, however many there is in the class. <laughs> we'll, <laughs> we'll see you then. Remember this, God loves you, we love you, and Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, Kenneth and Gloria Copeland have a gift for you called the Salvation Package. Learn who you are in Jesus and what belongs to you as a child of God. Email us at partners at kcm.org.uk and request your free Salvation Package. Find something life-giving on kcm.org, your study center for victory. View the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcasts on demand and study along with the daily broadcast notes or download the audio podcasts to listen on the go. Watch prior KCM events for hours with truth going in your eyes and ears wherever you are. Get real help for real life problems. Follow our guide to believe, speak, pray, learn, and apply your way to results from your couch, desk, or kitchen table. Stay focused on truth by reading the devotional from faith to faith every day. Read interactive BVOV magazines and click to unlock more content in each issue. Get a faith boost from testimonies of real life success from people just like you. Find information on what partnership means and take advantage of the resources provided just for you. Read archives of Kenneth Copeland's partner letter and download free books from our bonus library. Over 50 titles available to read on your phone, computer, or e-reader. KCM.org meets you where you are. Take the word of faith wherever you go with the Believer's Voice of Victory magazine. Since 1973, KCM has delivered the Believer's Voice of Victory magazine worldwide. We're reaching nearly 400,000 people in 202 countries and territories on five continents, all absolutely free. Every magazine contains faith-building articles from Kenneth and Gloria Copeland and other guest authors. Read encouraging stories from people like you in testimonies of real life victory. Equip your kids with powerful tools for spiritual growth in Commander Kelly's Corner. With a variety of viewing formats available, sharing is easier than ever. Download a digital copy for your tablet or mobile device. Click on the interactive magazine option where you'll find bonus content, videos, and downloads. Sign up for your free monthly subscription or download your copy today on our KCM website.